We had always wanted more children after Emily, but through circumstances couldn't have our own. We were very open to a child from any country, any background. It didn't matter to us, it was just about helping a child. I just, one weekend wasn't it, I sort of was on the lounge and researching a bit into foster care and I sort of said to Stu, why don't we just do fostering? Because there seems to be a lot of kids out there that need, you know, homes to go to. And then it was just, yeah, let's do it. So we did. It's really been a sliding doors moment. What if we hadn't have gone down that road? But we're very thankful that we did. It was just a phone call to Fax saying, you know, this is what we would like. Can you put us in the right direction? And they recommended Catholic care. It's not a, a, a quick process, but they have to make sure that you're going to be the right people to raise a child. People often ask us what it's like to be a, a foster parent. It's the most challenging thing I've ever done, but by far the most rewarding. It's something that we edged our way into, um, and I'm sure that that's what every other prospective foster parent wants to do, is just edge their way into it, but you've got to take the first step. As any foster parent, you have to get past that first question of what happens if I have to give the child back? That's the biggest block to the process. It's not easy, it's hard work and it's emotional, it's tiring. But that's what you sign up for. You sign up to clothe, house and importantly love the child whilst they're in your care for however long that will be. When you see a child uh, thrive under your care, they might not be your blood, but you're his mum and dad. And when you can give them the life that they might not have otherwise been able to have, it makes it worthwhile as well. The title you are isn't replacement parent, it's foster parent. So you always have to foster the relationship with the biological parent. We don't cut the biological family out of the equation. They will be a part of his life forever. Still the most surreal experience I've ever had in my life. We woke up as a three-person family and we went to bed as a four-person family. It's a beautiful sibling relationship. Em was 12. I think it's given her an understanding of you don't have to give birth to someone to love them, but they love each other like brother and sister. She absolutely adores the ground he walks on, and he does her. I simply can't come up with a reason to not adopt him. It's that simple. He's, he's my son, or I, I'm his dad. But to go into a foster care assessment process saying adoption's the outcome you want at the back end, you're going in with specific needs for yourself. Yeah. And foster caring, it's not about you, it's about the child. You can't do it for yourself. You don't by any means think to yourself, I'm going to adopt this kid because I want another child. You have to think, I am doing this because a child needs a good solid family unit. The child needs love and support and a future. And if their biological parents can't provide that for them, then that's what foster caring is about. Catholic Care have got you know, different sections that you can draw information and support from, which has been absolutely beneficial. They've always been there to support us and our needs. Um, they've just been a brilliant NGO, doing what they've been set to do, um, and doing it professionally and um, with empathy and you know, with love as well. No child comes in because of a good story, but you can always turn it into a great happy ending. My greatest wish for my children is to reach their full potential and to be who they want and need to be for themselves. Home is what you make it and the, the people that you fill it with makes a home as well. It's wherever we're together.